there. This conference will now be recorded. All right. <laughs> All right. Well, I'll, I'll call us to order. Uh, welcome to this uh, the uh, September 28th meeting of the Lake Stevens Sewer District. And um, let's start with the Pledge of Allegiance. I all right well next on our agenda number three public forum um the opportunity for the public to be able to address the board of commissioners anybody in the room that might want to speak in the vast gallery nobody in the room just us all right, anybody on the virtual wall that would like to say address the commissioners? Any cards and letters? Nothing. Okay, we'll close the uh, public forum. We have a beautiful agenda in front of us. How do we feel about said agenda? Great. I like it. I'd make a motion to approve the agenda and submit it. Fantastic. All in favor? Aye. Aye. All right, passes. We have some consent items, uh, A through I. Um, opportunity for us to have reviewed these prior. Any comments, concerns, complaints about uh, said consent items? No, I make a motion to approve consent items A through I as submitted and reviewed. I second it. All in favor? Aye. 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 All right, that brings us right down uh, to old business. There is none. That brings us to new business. Tomlinson variance request is A. I assume we're going to staff for that. Yeah. Um, so Stephen Tomlinson is a private homeowner in our district. He currently has a RV attached to the sewer through his side sewer. Uh, the district discovered this via a sales real estate sales listing. Um, current district code does not allow for RV hookups. There's a fear of some damage to the system and also the discharge that comes from it. Um, things like the de deodorizing aid additive or chemicals that are added to the tank um, can be of concern. The, uh, Mr. Tomlinson has submitted this variance request in order to keep his RV hookup. He currently lives in the RV itself and then rents out the home and the ADU that's on the property. Um, if this variance would be denied by the board, we would require him to remove the RV hookup from his property to permanently cap that. Uh, and then we would inspect the capping of that. Um, in a reasonable time frame, usually about 60 days is what we would require if you deny this variance. Um, if you do approve the variance, um, staff would recommend some additional conditions of approval, um, like not adding, adding the additives to the tank, um, only personal use, uh, and uh, yeah. Um, okay. Any questions about that? So typically when, if you uh, agree on a variance, are you setting a precedence? There's a good chance you are. There are two similar variances that um, the district board has approved in the past. So we have one RV hookup that is at the toy garage where they have specific, um, only their uh, People that rent there are allowed to discharge. They keep a log of it and they provide it to the district. The second one is an RV hookup that we made them do a permanent connection for while they were demoing the house to build a new one. So it was a temporary connection, but those were the only two that the district has allowed in the past. But yeah, a variance can set a precedent. And this would be a permanent hookup in this particular instance. This one is a temporary hookup where you can connect or disconnect the the RV connection. This doesn't meet a very this doesn't meet the standard of an ADU. No. Under, under anybody's code, city or ours. I don't know what city code talks about. Um, ours does not. Okay. Do we know if the applicant has decided to join us or I do not see on 
I guess from my point of view, I mean, a lot of times when people come in for a variance and it looks like we've had some in the past and we've looked at it, um, I would be at this point not in favor of doing it if I don't even have the applicant here wanting to express what he would like in his desire to do that. I think that if you're going to ask us to do something and give a variance, we'd like to hear from the, the uh, applicant. And I think my view would be if the applicant's not here to kind of propose anything that at this point we just deny it until you know if he wants to reapply or he wants to do something and understand but i have just the concerns of opening something up and i know that we had some special circumstances to do it but you know is there going to be an argument in the future of adu or you know is this going to be a, a dumping station all of a sudden and everybody around the lake stevens general area is going to decide hey i can use my clean out and say a RV hookup and sell that as part of my property. I think it opens a lot of things that we haven't we haven't vetted fully. And obviously, I don't you know it's not to blame somebody for doing or being ingenious, I guess to a certain degree. But if I don't have an applicant here, in my view, to actually make the request, other than we've got a submittal, um, I'm not in favor at this time of even moving forward with it. So I let my other two board members say. I just have two questions. You mentioned that the property is currently for sale. Yeah. yeah. And it's listed with a that an RV sewer hookup is part of the sale. Yeah. So that, that's like against code. I, I'm totally against that. That's wrong. Yep. So <clears throat> I'll entertain a motion. I make okay. a motion okay. to deny the developer standards variance request for Stephen Tomlinson. At 11 East Lake Stevens Road. At 11 <laughs> East Lake Stevens Road. I would second that motion. All right, we'll call for the vote. All in favor? Aye. 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 All right, so passed. That brings us to new business B, resolution 1054, code amendments. All right, um, so reading through district code, there's a few things that were quite out of date. Um, that we worked with legal on to get updated um, into current language, current practice, and current standards. Uh, and staff recommends this for approval. So, yeah, looking at executive administrator, that, that goes back to uh, our GM way back in the day and the executive assistant. So, yeah, no, I get it. They were, they were very old. <laughs> yes, yeah, yeah, sometimes those things are, yeah. Well, with that being said, I would make a motion to uh, pass resolution number 1054, which is that resolution for the Board of Sewer Commissioners, Lake Stevens Sewer District in Snohomish County, Washington, revising the portion of the district's administrative code to clarify roles of the commissioners and district personnel. I second that. All in favor? All right. Aye. All right, so passes. That brings us to manager's reports, uh, GM. All right. So flow at the plant right now is at 2.532 million gallons a day. GFCs, uh, we've done 66.07 year to date and permits 109. And that's all I've got. Let's get a little bit uh, GFCs. A little. I would, that was in the Not first quarter. Not our goal this no, year yet, no, 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 I know. We're getting closer. We're, we're almost into the fourth quarter. <laughs> we can be like the Seahawks, pull it on. <laughs> so that brings us to uh, B, Assistant General Manager, unless we've uh, given him some uh, much deserved uh, time off or if he's out fixing something with the crew out in the field. Yeah, uh, no report from the Assistant GM today. All right, we wish him well. All right, city report. Uh, Gene, nice to see you on the virtual wall with me. Anything you want to share? Ah, thank you very much. It's business as usual here, but I did want to remind everybody that we got the Sam Canone's uh, event tonight where he'll be speaking to the public about fentanyl, meth, and the opiate crisis. And it is at 6.30 tonight in the commons of Cavalero Mid-High. Okay. So uh, that's all I have. Thank you much. All right. Thank you, Gene. Um, all right. That brings us to commissioner report. Shall we start with commissioner number one? Number one. Okay. Well, hey, it's great to be back. Um, you know, it's hard to get back after being gone so long for vacation, but I appreciate the work of the staff and every, everybody in the district. Um, 
we did attend the con I attended a, a WASWA, the Washington Association of Water and Sewer District Conference, along with with uh, the general manager and and Commissioner Wright. Uh, very good conference. Um, a lot of things coming up. Um, I know that we will have a spring one that will actually even be closer to us until I left, so we'll all be able to just go from home when we do that. But good conference. A lot of good information as we get ready because I know that there are issues facing sewer districts and water districts that we'll be working with our lobbyists in, to get priorities together for Olympia. But um, I just want to thank staff for the great work that they continue to do. All right. Appreciate it. Commissioner number two. So I also attended the same water and sewer conference last week, and I felt like it was so helpful. Um, I'm currently working on my commissioner's accreditation program and found um, the classes that were very interesting from WASWAD was uh, protecting the public works trust fund, learning more about the 2024 legislative agenda. There was discussion on utility tax and concerns um, of local cities that had utility tax up to 20%. There was also a class about the Port Gamble restoration project, which I found fascinating to see how they could recover an area from, what's it, a mill? Sawmill. Sawmill. And yeah. how they have just made it so beautiful, have protected the, or cleaned up the waterway in the area. So I knew nothing about that area and found that fascinating. We also learned about climate mapping um, and then opportunities for, with the um, federal government for rate assistance. I know Mariah knows about but It was still helpful, helpful for me to have clarification on that. There was a class about confined spaces and having each district have written policy for that. And it was interesting as I attended all these classes, I just had this like, I felt proud to be part of the Lake Stevens Sewer District because um, Mariah and the staff have worked hard in like staying up to date on all this information, especially with the confined spaces. I know that she has worked really hard in creating written policy that protects our staff in those situations. So hats off to an excellent staff and all the things that we're doing to try to maintain environmental cleanliness and clean water and all the good things in this area. Excellent. Excellent. Um, thank you for that. I only I have two things. One, um, just a nod to staff on um, things like resolution 1054, where we're going back through and making sure that, um, you know, our policies and, and uh, codes are, are current and relevant and um, cleaned up, I guess. Uh, um, I appreciate that effort. That's not glamorous work, but it's important. It's important work to do to make sure we remain on the straight and narrow. So I, I tip my hat there. And the second thing, um, the work with the city, we had a utility uh, meeting um, yesterday with a um, um, number of city staff, and um, I just appreciate the staff's work on both sides, city and, and district, working through the details and being able to have um, open and candid sharing of, of what it would look like moving forward and, and removing as many barriers and increasing understanding. That's um, That again is in the bucket of typically tedious work and um, and takes a lot of time. And, um, and so progress is being made there. And you could, um, from my perspective, you could feel the the tenor in the room being probably some of the lightest it's been um, in a long time. And um, I thought that was that was excellent. Even 1,200 miles away, I could uh, I could feel a, a noticeable change. So I want to thank uh, thank staff for that and thank for you for your leadership in that, uh, Mariah. Um, that's everything I got. Um, executive session, I, I would like to have one. Um, my topic is a uh, review of a public employee or continuing that discussion. Um, we may have other topics as well. Um, and if so, from other commissioners, let me, let's uh, add to that to the extent that uh, needed. And then um, I would say, let's uh, let uh, Mr. Jordan do the preamble. But uh, Com Commissioner Lorenzen or, or Commissioner Wright, anything? 
to add to any of that? No, we were actually waving to other folks on there. They're waving goodbye because they know. Okay. Right. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Very good. Well, I'll add staff because I know they know they know the preamble piece. No, that's good. All right. Well then, um, Mariah, did you have some? Yeah, we'll have one other topic that I'd like to do, um, which I've already briefed Jordan on. So okay, good. How much time do you need? Um, I would say for for what I have in mind, 15 minutes. Okay, let's tack on maybe an additional five for the other topic, so 20 minutes. Okay, okay. 20 minutes. All right. All right, the Lake Stevens Sewer District Board of Commissioners will now move into executive session pursuant to um, RCW 4230.110, subsection 1, subsection C, to consider the minimum price at which real estate will be offered for sale or lease as public knowledge would cause a likelihood of de decreased price. And um, second, RCW 4230.110, um, subsection 1, subsection uh, G, to review the performance of a public employee. The executive session will start at 916 and will last um, 20 minutes. The executive session will conclude at 936. At the conclusion, the commission will adjourn the meeting with no related announcements or actions taken. Thank you very much. This conference will now be recorded. Uh, the Board of Commissioners uh, need to extend our executive session, and so we're going to go back into executive session um, for 15, 14 minutes, um, uh, finishing at 9.50, uh, um, and uh, we do not expect any uh, decisions or actions um, uh, at the conclusion of the session. Thank you. This conference will now be recorded. We're coming back out of executive session to extend one more time. We will conclude at 10 o'clock and uh, there will be, we do not anticipate any decisions uh, or actions um, after the executive session is over. Thank you. This conference will now be recorded. All right, Lake Stevens Board of Commissioners is back uh, out of executive session in regular session. And as promised, no decisions or actions made other than I will uh, uh, entertain a motion to adjourn. I make a motion to adjourn. I'll second that. All in favor? Aye. All right. Have a great Thursday, everybody. Take care. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Bye.